line size. So hold on, got it. I just say anyway, we're gonna, for it. yeah, we got it. We're gonna build this uh, aluminum crappie today, but we're gonna do a two piece. Something that I designed last year, shallow running, crank down. You can use it as a wake bait. Pretty effective, big fish, small fish. But uh, gonna kind of show you the quick process of how everything comes together. So everything starts with a design. You know, you just play around, try to find something you like, the profile. Uh, once you get that nailed down, then you carve the little joker out of wood. And this was my, my master. Everything starts from wood. So you carve it out of wood, decide where you want the joints cut so you can install the hardware. And I'll show you here in a second. So that's all carved out of wood. We get to that process. You're going to pour silicone molds, which is a negative mold that goes around the wooden master. So once you get that done, and I'll kind of explain it to you after I pull this apart, but you're pouring resin inside of these, these red molds. And basically it's the silhouette of that wooden master. So I went ahead and pre-poured everything uh, just to kind of speed the process up. Uh, so we're not wasting too much time. So when you pull the silicone apart, there's the back half. You, you obviously cut this off, cut this off, do a little sanding. And you get the back half exactly what was part of this wooden half right there. So you can mass produce them a lot quicker than just one off every time you carve one out of wood. And here's what the front looks like. Obviously, you're going to do a little body work on it as well, but it's the replica. So this is the one here that we'll use to fish with. Um, we'll paint it, paint up any color, add some eyes, some hardware. So that's how that comes in play. So here's the inside of that negative mold I was telling you about. So you put it together, you fill it up with resin, pull it apart, and there you go. All right, so once we got the resin cleaned up, we get this stuff cleaned up, the spro cut off, the air vents cut off, sand it, put the hardware together, and now she's assembled. Obviously, I've added this lip right here. This controls the depth, the pitch of the lip. Now this lip controls the depth on how deep it runs. Um, obviously this, this open area, the gap where you can see the hardware, the farther apart that you have, the louder it'll knock in the water as you're reeling it. So once you have that, now you got a blank canvas. So next up is to paint that aluminum crappie. We're going to start with aluminum. It's, it's a uh, Craytex airbrush paint. It's, uh, it looks like aluminum foil, theoretically, I guess you could say so. Let me let me paint one up real quick, and then we'll just kind of zoom through this process. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever airbrushed. Try to get Eric to do it, but Eric doesn't have the patience, I don't think. He'd rather pay the big bucks and have somebody do it for him, which is okay. That's what we pay you for. Yeah. So we've got we've got this guy. I've got the lip painted or taped off so you don't paint it. So let me just run some quick paint down it real quick. Get the silver aluminum. So to speed things up, I went ahead and already got some that's dried, so uh, we can move forward. How much time we got, Eric? Are we doing good? Oh yeah, we got uh, twelve minutes or so. All right, perfect. So let me get this airbrush cleaned out real quick. That's a little time consuming. It's going to kick on this air compressor for a second. The hardest part is just cleaning the airbrush out just because you got to make sure it's clean so you're not overlaying colors and you, you get the true color. So we should be cleaned up. So now we got the silver. Take a little bit of gold here. We'll load gold in the airbrush. It's, that kind of gives it a little bit of depth to just straight silver. Not a whole lot of gold we're going to need here. here. Gold's about empty. Come on. There we go, just a little bit. All right, it's just enough of what we need right there. 
So I always try to shoot on about 30 PSIs. Uh, all right, so I'll take this guy here. Let me move this cord. Take this guy, just kind of run a little bit of gold across the flank with the flanks, the back of the lure, the pop. Just gives a little bit of depth. And then once you get clear coat on it, which is a protective so the paint doesn't chip, that's when you really see. And there's really no wrong way of doing this. It's, it's all in the eye of the beholder. You think about it, there's no there's no dog, there's no cat that's ever the same. Same way as a fish, same way the lures, they're all different. So what I'll do is hit that with a blow dryer real quick to make sure she's dry. We will show it to you real quick. So I don't know if you can see the gold now, but there's gold on the back, yeah. silver on the bottom. All oh, right. Still there? Yeah, just, just enough to kind of give it a little bit of kick to it. Let me clean this out real quick, and we're going to go to live steps black. Black's the easiest color. I'm just going to get this cleaned out real quick. <laughs> what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have Eric... I want Eric to throw all your names I hat, okay, before you leave class today. Throw all your names in a hat. And I want him to draw one. Whoever whoever he draws, I'm going to send this bait to you. Oh, oh, boy. I see some excited faces here now this morning. Well, you you can't be you can't be lame, Eric. you got to throw something, a little something every day. All right, so we're going to load it up with this. Carbon, this is carbon black. We're gonna load it up, and I'm gonna show you. Now this is where the stencil work comes in. Um, it goes pretty quick. Let me turn my PSI down. So I'll show you what I got here. So this is the stencil. It's been painted on, but this is how I'm gonna give texture to uh, to the aluminum crappie. And then I have a stencil that I made with the fin. And it has a gill cut out so I can place it the same way every time on every bait. Um, so let's, let me see if I can turn this phone down a little bit. There we go. Make sure the black's spraying out there. So I'll lay the bait here just randomly. Take these stencil, they stencil just randomly spray patterns somewhere across the, the flank. And I'll show you here in a second. Give me one second. We about got this side finished up. Yeah, you're good. We we got we're you're good on time. We're passing out up uh, post-it notes here right now. Sweet. So there is the start of it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know what you can see, but there's a the texture, the stencils, and that, I'm gonna do the other side real quick. I'm gonna put my name on one. <laughs> we want to know if the teachers can put our name in. Teachers? Yeah, I, you know, you gotta ask the kids on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of this deck of post-it notes on it. Hit it with a blow dry real quick. We're just gonna quickly blow dry to make sure the paint doesn't smear as we move on to the other side. Um, <laughs> Hey, as he's painting here, guys, like, I just wanted to have him on to show you guys. There, there's all kinds of stuff in, like, the fishing world and the fishing industry. You don't have to be, like, a professional fisherman. You could be a bait maker. You could be an advertiser. All different kinds of fishing industry-type jobs. If you're, if you're really artsy and can paint, if maybe you're really good with wood. Like, he carves those originals from wood. That takes a little bit of skill. I, I wouldn't even attempt that. So, uh, you know, but there's some artsy guys out there making some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we just about got it. Let me throw a couple more spots here and there to give it. Like I said, there's really no wrong way of doing this. Um, just randomly laying down paint. Okay, let me put the fins on here. So I'm going to, so this is, so there's no fin 
on here currently. Can you see that good? Yep. There's no fin. Okay. So I'll lay my stencil on there and I'll show you just a quick thing what the fin will look like. And now the fins that they're already on are so hence is why I got this cut out here because I can lay it right. I don't know if you can see that, but I can lay it there and then flip it around the other side, flip the stencil card over. And now I can replicate that same fin in the same spot on that side. Now we just about got her done. Now you just want to darken the eyes up a little bit. Personal preference, you don't have to do it. Darken the, the brim of the nose up and then hit the back. And the reason you want to do the back, you want to always add a dark color to the back of a, of a lure because, because it gives it, a fish isn't round or they have a spine. So adding that that black to its back, it, it, it creates the illusion that there's a point that it's coming up to. Um, you know, it just gives it depth and gives it angle character. But that's pretty much it right there. Let me throw some eyeballs on it and uh, it'll be ready to go. Uh, like I said, there, did you draw a name out? Find out who the lucky winner is. Uh, we just got the bucket filled. What do you put the eyeballs on with? Hold on, I'll show you here in a second. So these holes are 12.7 millimeter. Is I got it. That's the size these holes are. So what I do is I don't make my own eyes. I buy them. They're a uh, 3D eye and they're 12.7. Just uh, made by Brule that's Outdoors. That's the company that I use. Uh, just because they, the quality is decent. So I just basically put a little drop of super glue on the center of the eye socket. Hold on a second. Pull off one of the eyeballs. Now, there's multiple ways of laying them on there. I like how the point of the retina comes out, and I always try to point that forward. If you look at a real fish, most of your fish, the retina pointed forward on a fish. All right, let me throw the other side on. And... Uh, Really, the only step after this is throw some clear coat on it, which takes about 24 hours. It's two-part epoxy. It just keeps the paint from chipping off. But uh, this is one of my popular sellers, this color. It's called aluminum crappie. Um, now the eyeballs are on. I don't know if you can see that. Eyeballs, eyeballs. So you've got the center there. I mean, it's – we paint, just painted the bait in, what, 15 minutes? We got one knocked out? That's right. So that's a two-piece – the three pieces right here, same thing, but just it'll look different. See how clear and glossy that is? That's what it'll look like when I send it to whoever. It'll have that clear, glossy look to it. Uh, just a couple quick things that I'm working on right now. I'm painting this big trout up for Eric's buddy, Nick. The, the slack, it's a uh, slake, I'm sorry. And it, it's a uh, pretty cool trout. And then uh, something else that I've got is a, a rattlesnake. I don't know if you can see it, but the the scales I've carved in, it's a top water bait. It's got a, a rattles there, but they've got uh I've got them taped up, but it's actually got rattle glass beads in there for it. It'll it'll rattle. But other than that, that's about it. You know, one other thing. Um here's a shad pattern. You know, they make them as realistic as possible, but there's the backside. So all right, well, hopefully that kind of gave you a quick rundown of how things come together. Yes, sir. Hey, let's Who's the lucky hand. winner? Give me a hand. Right, we're about to draw. We're about to draw. If you right. win, Eric, we got to redraw. All right, I didn't put my name in there. I'll let the kids have this one. Okay. I, got, I probably got six or eight of them already anyway. Yeah, you still ain't paid me for me, guys. Sorry. All right, here we go. Dickies. Daniel A. Who's that? Yeah, come up here. Come on. Here he is. Oh, hello. How you doing? Are you a fisherman? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you're going to be. Well, you're going to be. You're going you're, to be. You're going to be. You're going to be. Take this joker out and, and get him wet. Throw him around. Have Eric take you out in the kayak club and do it. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, man. Hey, we appreciate it. Let's uh, last thing. Let's let's give them a quick rundown. How much can you actually build a bait for? Like besides your time, 
how much do you have in it in materials? So basically, this basic, this aluminum crappie, same thing that we just painted up. It's a three piece. Just, Nothing different. I just cut this joint. I have with hooks, the lip right there, the eyeballs, the tail, the clear coat, the paint. I probably have about twelve dollars in this bait, and I sell them for one forty. So, that's so I mean, you can make some, you can make some major jack, you know, really quick. But you've got it, you've got it. When you're doing it, you've got to get in the market, figure out what they like. You got to figure out what sells. Um, you've got to build a reputation. You know, you can't have baits that paint's always chipping off, or they ain't, they're not running true. They got to run right in the water. A lot of variables, but I've got about twelve, maybe thirteen bucks per bait, and I sell them for one forty. So a good profit margin there for you. But, yeah, but you know, but you're kind of an artist at the same time, right? Whereas you know, every bait's kind of individual, and no two are alike, like you said, just like a fish. So yeah, th there's uh, no dog, there's no cat, any two alike. Same way with a fish or a lure. I mean, I can paint ten of these aluminum crappies. At the end of the day, none of them are going to be the same. Which right. is that's just what makes them unique. Right, for sure. All right, man. Hey, we thank we thank you for hopping on. We appreciate it. It's awesome. Uh, I'll get you. Uh, you want to mail that bait to me? I whatever's easiest. If I see you, I'll tell you what. If we're gonna go oh, ice yeah. fishing on Sunday, yeah, I'll just bring it with me. Let's do that. I'll pick it up from you Sunday. We'll have it next week. All right, you have to see. You have to send me a picture with that young man in the bait, and I'll throw it on my on my Facebook page, Shank Bait Co. You guys check me out. Give me a like. All right, man. Shank Bait, Instagram, Facebook. I think I showed him. I don't know how many people got on the first week we were in here, but. Well, now we know what's going on. That's right. All right, man. Thanks, buddy. Later. See ya.